Yeah, I am going to take this, by the way. This cable, I think. And I'm on, I'm on a dynamic five. I mean, I'll go ahead and take the alert. Okay, five minute trend short is ready. So it's looking for a five minute dynamic candle. I mean, we could get it as early as a minute and 40 seconds if this candle closes bearish. And then we could immediately get a move lower. All right, so we're in the euro pound monster. I'll probably just let that keep going for a minute. It looks like it could be bearish. So we just have to break under it by a pip. The low was 08. So it's got to break below 07, I believe, to get an entry, a pip below that. Ah, excuse me, I've had some coffee. Okay, the five minute trend just happened, guys. So we had the, the dynamic candle, or the bearish candle, and then dynamic means we had the bearish candle, and the next, very next candle broke below the low of that candle by at least a pip. Now we're in. All right, here we are, man. Let's let's get some pips here. We're already in this one. I'm thinking on taking this euro yen. The yens, of course, are correlated with risk. What's the five minute look like? It's a nice chart. 15. That's a little stretched out, that chart there. That makes me just cautious there. We I mean, have 15 minutes stretched out. Like, doesn't mean it can't keep going because you got some five minute support really close. So you got two time frames working this thing higher. Uh, but that's a pretty solid move up. It looks like it's due for a pullback. Nothing wrong with waiting on trades like this. But looking good so far, right? Got a nice, we just need to get some continued follow through here. Break below this candle low. And then we attack this, this low here. Now, with P20 pips, all we need, we need 20 pips. We'll get our 2% growth on the day. Now, luckily, we had this monster, fully auto monster trade that wasn't full position. So it didn't get us a ton of pips, but got us, you know, we're up to 1%. It's equivalent of about 10 pips on the day. Really need about an equivalent of about 10 more. And honestly, a five minute trend gets us for us. That's great. Now, if we take this down, probably big figure will be plus 15. It would be nice to get lower than that, but it is known to be a support area. So once we get to this cluster here, in fact, if we can get to 95, that'll be 20 pips. But once we get to this cluster, we might want to be cautious, if not take some pips here. Now we're still waiting. Remember on the five minute trend, it, the one minutes pull back a little bit. We're really waiting for the one minute to start doing lower lows and lower highs again. All right, let's look at that one minute chart. All right, see here was the here was the lower lows and lower highs. Boom, there's a swing bottom. We broke the pattern. We broke over the L1. Boom, higher low, higher high. Now we're getting below this low. We got to catch this L1 box here. All right, catch this L1 as, as resistance and make a new low on the one. So like it'll be like a pullback to the L1 green line and then a new low to attack the low. Now, I, I can't tell you that's exactly what's going to happen. Better than that would be no pullback, just a straight down shot, right? That's what I prefer. But realistically, once these get too far from the L1s, they pull back. I mean, it's looking nice so far. Well, we got to get a little more follow through here. I want to get lower lows, but if we get stuck at the low, we can always take off half the position just by pressing the scale out button um, or whatever you've got your scale out percentage set to. I've got mine set to half off. You know, sometimes when you're at a support level, that's a good place to take half off. And then if you break the level, great, you're in. <clears throat> but then if it looks like it's holding and it's not going to work, you know, take your other half off or just put like a, a, st a, a stop that maybe protects half the pips. We're almost at plus 10 here. All right, I might just, you know, I mean, the idea is to let the candles close. But this one just closed. This one, we got a nice candle. That's a continuation candle, but we're near a low. Oh, that's a nice continuation candle. What's a continuation candle? It's a candle where the, if it's bearish, that the low itself in the close are basically the same. There's no wick at the bottom. That means price traded right into that low to the very end of the candle. So it's strong bearish control. All right, but I think I'm going to take this anyway, guys. And then we can always get back in. All right, I'm going to take eight pips, right? That gets us to almost our 2% goal. That gives us point, that gave us 0.8% on that one trade. If I'd got the 10 pips when I saw it, we would have had our 20 pips there. If Euro Yen, and I'm on the Euro Yen chart, breaks above this little cluster, I might accept it. Now, accepting it doesn't enter me. It's I've got it set to dynamic. I think I'm going to do a manual trade on this, guys. I'm in. All right, we're above the highs. Now, obviously, I'd like to have a close here. It's looking like it, isn't it, Scott? It really does. There's the one minute. That seems like the best thing. Look at it. It's already dynamic. I almost think it is. I think I'm going to try it. All right, I'm going to try this as well. It's been working. And I didn't wait for the dynamic 10 seconds away. Working, And it kind of does hedge against this euro yen a little bit. 
Uh, now, if the yen crosses start going up, both of them, great. We're in both. All right, let's go. We want higher highs on dollar yen, but we are at the highs. Remember, this is the place to be cautious because this is right because that's that's previous resistance. But it's following a higher low, so these kind of highs are made to be broken. All right, so you make the high, then a higher low. If you have the higher low, chances are that higher high is going to get taken out. Now, I just need really one full position pip to hit our 2%, but just keep in mind, I've also got this euro yen still open. All right, here we go. Plus five just about on euro do uh, dollar yen, sorry. All right, nine seconds to close. If we can get a nice close at the top of this candle, we'll have a continuation candle here out in clear roads. That will be nice. Okay, there it is. Eh, didn't get as high as I wanted. I really wanted it, this close to be above all these little peaks, and it didn't quite get there, did it? All right, and still the action looks really nice really nice here we go plus six now it should get faster if we get up here here we go here we go let me there we go plus 14 15 keep going keep going i'll take it i'm out all right i'm gonna get out of this euro yen at just break even there we go that's it guys we're done all right three and three percent on the day fantastic that's what i was saying once you get in these clear roads it happens fast and then i was able to get out of euro yen at break even i was very happy with that yeah, thanks, Scott. That was great. That was your call. That was your dollar yen call, man. You were like, should we do it? I'm like looking at it. I'm thinking, yeah. So thank you, sir. You know, that's basically like 32 pips we've done on the day. And here's all of our trades. These are all today's trades right here. All right, there's 21 full position pips right there. And then this all together brought us, gave us the rest of that. Very nice, guys. Very nice. That's how you do it. And it's Monday.